On the 1st of July, we published our report into the fiduciary duties of investment intermediaries. Our work followed on from a report prepared by Professor Kay, which looked into the investment and equity markets in the UK. Professor Kay was concerned that investment inter intermediaries tended to act as traders rather than owners of their stocks and shares. And he felt that produced a zero-sum game for the UK economy in that there always had to be winners and losers if people traded. And that it would be far better if people who took a long-term view of their investments acted as owners of those shares rather than as buyers and sellers of them. We looked at this problem through a pensions lens. We chose to do that because pension trustees and pension intermediaries are the typical long-term investor. They're setting aside assets against long-term liabilities, sometimes for up to periods of as much as 40 years. Professor Kay was concerned that the law encouraged people to take a short-term view when really they should be taking the long-term view against their long-term liabilities. In fact, we came to the conclusion that the law did not require people to take a short-term view. There was nothing in the law which required that. Instead, there was a lot of confusion and a lot of uncertainty. That meant that people were very cautious, that they meant that they were not prepared to take long-term decisions, and they tended to follow the latest financial indices rather than looking at the long-term performance of their assets. We felt that we could produce something which would assist and in our report we produced a standalone chapter which gives guidance to pension trustees in particular as to how they should review their investments. For example, we do think that trustees need to look at the impact of factors such as environmental issues, governance issues and social issues on the way in which their companies, the companies in which they invest, will perform. These are financial risk factors that ideally trustees should take into account and their advisors likewise. We also felt that it was possible for trustees to take non-financial views. For example, if they had a very strong ethical view on a particular issue, trustees could take that into account, provided they were certain that their beneficiaries all felt in a similar way and that there was no significant financial impact on the trust fund, no negative impact on the fund. In addition, we produced some guidance on stewardship. Stewardship is the typical long-term attitude of uh, trustees. Stewards act as owners rather than as traders. We do believe that it's very difficult for trustees to actively engage with the companies in which they invest because they simply don't have the time or resources. Nonetheless, this is something which could be delegated and we've asked whether the government should consider imposing a requirement that trustees need to consider their attitudes towards stewardship in their statements of investment principles. However, a lot of this relates to defined benefit or final salary pension schemes, whereas the future growth of pensions is likely to be in the contract area where there are no, or not necessarily, any trustees involved. We are aware that the government has been working very closely with the ABI to come up with a solution which can provide some protection of members' interests in these circumstances, and we've thoroughly endorsed the proposals which have been made regarding invest, uh, independent governance committees. In particular, we agree that those committees should act in their members' best interests and that the providers, the pension providers, usually an insurance company, should indemnify the members of the independence governance committees against any liabilities that they incur. And we look forward to any future work that uh, we have in that area. Finally, we make some specific recommendations regarding issues such as the Occupational Pension Regulations 2005. These currently don't apply to schemes with less than 100 members and some parts of those uh, regulations, particularly those that give guidance on the investment uh, decisions of trustees, we do believe should provide universally and probably in the current law outside those regulations uh, would apply. We very much hope that um, our recommendations will be adopted by governance and we very much hope that our separate chapter will provide useful guidance to trustees as to the decisions that they can take and that a longer term view of investments will ultimately produce a better outcome for the pension beneficiaries. You can find copies of our report on our website.